Hi, I'm Andy and you're watching me on MissMalney.com and I'm going to answer some tweets today, so be kind. Andy, so you're out of the Big Boss house. First, I want to know what was your experience like in the house and you made some serious waves. Did you expect to do that? Uh, not really. I expected to just be myself and play myself as I am and uh, just just go there and make everyone laugh and that's what I tried to do and uh, there was ups and downs in the house that I wasn't expecting but I think that was an unexpected uh, journey for me and it's uh, made me think about a lot of stuff in my life and the fact that I can live out of one suitcase and for three months is, is a big accomplishment for me. And did you have a strategy? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't have a game plan. In fact, I learned as I went along. There was a lot of people who helped me, like Shilpa. Um, she helped me, and Tanisha, and even Arman actually helped me understand a lot about the game. Which everyone kept going, you've got a game plan, you've got this. I'm like, uh, no, I don't have a game plan. I just came in and thought we were going to like take people for face value and just be who we are. And uh, I, that's what I did. I, just, I was myself. And uh, so, of course, there was so much controversy over the Goshal and the Nisha Arman, the two couples having their wars. It felt like you were friends with everybody. Was that part of like a specific move or was that just something that happened? Because it's hard to be friends with everyone, obviously, right? Right. But I had separate relationships with everybody. I didn't have any idea that I wanted to be friends with this group. or I was never in a group. Even though people think I was going from one group to the other, that was never there. I wasn't a part of a group. I was always myself and I had my own opinions and my own ideas and when I went into the nomination room I did what I wanted to so I never followed anyone. Um, so therefore this, for me this groupism thing and being going here and being friends with everyone. I want, had a very individual relationship with a lot of different people. With Kushal, with Gohar, with Tanisha, with Arman. I have four different relationships with four of those people. I don't care whether somebody uh, wants me to talk to that person or whether they have any issues about anything because that's not my issue, that's their issue with somebody else. So if I'm friends with Tanisha and Gohar, I can be in my life because I have different relationships with both those women. Um, I have different relationships with Arman and Kushal. But were they okay with it? Because I'm not sure if Well, they, I'll tell you, you what, know, um, yeah. when, I, when I was in the house, there was a few people who said to me, don't be friends with that person because you're friends with me. And I said to them, uh, no that's not going to work out with me. I'm going to be friends with who I want to be friends with and if you guys have issues between yourselves, you've got to sort that out, not me. Um, and I didn't get involved with that. That's why I think a lot of the time there was a lot of fingers being pointed at me, uh, a lot of names being called and uh, a lot of um, victimizing going on in that house uh, because I think I was very sort of strong-headed and I, I knew what I wanted to do and I wasn't allowing anyone to lead me and I think that was a big issue. And I remember turning on Big Boss and seeing this massive shouting match between you and Sangram. What happened? And did you guys sort that out? Yeah, it sorted. Um, it sorted and we're still friends and in fact we're bros. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, I think uh, with Sangram and I it was very difficult because Sangram has this uh, thing where he wants to look good and he wants to be the right one, be righteous all the time. And I don't believe that anyone can be righteous all the time. I made mistakes and I say, hey! I made a mistake. I'm sorry. And you have to really say sorry from your heart and believe that you made a mistake. There's no point saying sorry when you don't actually believe you did anything wrong because then there's no point. Mm -hmm. Then why did you say sorry? Um, so this was my argument with Sangram that don't apologize if you don't think you're wrong. And if you don't think you're wrong ever, that's wrong in my book. So that was what we were arguing about. And, and finally, because we are such good friends and because I understand him quite illicitly, so I can just go, I accept him for as he is, and that's why we're still friends. And with, I remember also seeing an episode with, where you were just joking with Ajaz about how he would look great as the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, and that spiraled completely into oh. another direction. Um, and then from that moment onwards, I think Ajaz and you just really didn't see eye to eye. What was the issue? Like, what, what did I think, I think, I think this whole thing of us being pitted, Ajaz and me being pitted against each other as the entertainers, who's going to entertain more. And I was never in a competition with anyone, because if I'm an entertainer, that's because that's what my heart's telling me to do. I wasn't going, oh, I need to entertain, I need to talk to cameras, I need to play for the camera. I don't do that. I understand there's a camera, and I understand there's a certain amount of quotient that goes into entertaining people, but I wasn't there to just entertain people. I was also there to protect myself from a lot of craziness that was being pushed on top of me, um, whether they're, they're joking or not, and their jokes were not really being that nice to me. So, you know, being the butt of a joke the whole time, 
that you're going to explode and perhaps you're not going to see that 24 hours being poked, poked, poked. You're going to see the, the five seconds of when you erupted, you're not going to see the rest of it. So I get why a lot of people go, oh my god, you had such good arguments. And I'm like, yeah, I did. But I also had a lot of fun with Ejaz. I had a lot of fun with Arman. I had a lot of fun with Kushal. And a lot of people go, oh, but he hit you and then why did you... Why did you... Because I learned to forget and forgive and move ahead with positivity. I think it's really important in my life. Same with Ajaz. I'm not holding a grudge against him. I'm still in touch with him outside of the house. And quite frankly, I think he got... I don't think he's someone who's very... Um, he's an entertainer as an actor. He needs to learn the script. He needs to get to know what he's doing. He plays a character. That's an actor. And he is an actor. And I don't know if he's good or bad because I haven't really seen him in his work. But he plays. So who's a better entertainer? There is no one better because we're both as good as each other. We're both as bad as each other. We're both as... We have, we're different. We're different. That's the difference.